So I want to present something called Babylon, which is basically an XMPP framework in Ruby that uses Event Machine. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Event Machine. Uh, to build XMPP applications, and by application I mean client, component, and servers, even though we're not running S2S right now, but I mean it's work in process. So um, I would just show you a basic example to see, I mean, first explain how it works and then show you a basic example um, to connect XMPP and webhooks. I know webhooks are evil here, but still, uh, <laughs> it's an uh, interesting application. Um, so how, we, how does uh, Babylon work? Uh, basically, it's, there's, um, as I said, an event machine um, connection uh, and uh, an XMPP SACS push parser that will parse the XML along the feed. And basically, then sends the, the stanzas that it finds, that it finds sorry, on, um, to a, ro a, ro a router. The router? Uh, the router will then uh, match, basically how the, ro the router works, it matches uh, XPath, um, uh, I mean, queries into the stanzas and then we'll decide to which uh, application, to which controller, sorry, uh, and which action, action goes the stanza. Uh, what we do is we don't expose XML to the end user uh, because it's a nightmare and plus if we one day decide to change the XML application um, that, we, that we are using right now, uh, it might be very difficult for someone to, to actually reuse the code with a different XML library. So what we do is we build objects uh, with mappings to different um, nodes inside the XML stanza uh, that basically the, the user can use. And then their controllers use views uh, that are basically XML build builders uh, to send replies. So let me show you an example uh, if I find here. Uh, so it's a basic application that basically uh, connect XMPP to webhooks. I don't know if you guys are familiar with webhooks. Um, webhooks are basically uh, HTTP URLs um, to which you can send post requests when something happens. Uh, so it's a very um, simple version of what could be, uh, for example, used uh, for real-time applications. So instead, for example, if you use GitHub, um, you can actually plug the commits that you do into GitHub to, for example, Lighthouse, uh, which is a ticket, uh, how do you call that, a ticket manager for problems that you might have. So how these two services communicate is basically every time you do a push to a GitHub project, um, GitHub will actually send a post request, HTTP post request to a Lighthouse saying, hey, there's a new commit to this project, blah, blah, blah. So here's how it, wor how it works. Um, so you got here the basic ar architecture of a XMPP, uh, sorry, of a Babylon application. So as I said, you've got a, a little configuration. So it's, uh, it's pretty light, uh, as you'd see, uh, but it contains the most important thing, which is the, the route. So in this case, it's pretty easy. So um, can you guys see? Is it better? Uh, so basically, uh, it says XPath. Every standard that corresponds to a message with a type chat, send it to a controller called post and an action called post. So it's very simple. And when the, the parser actually detects the, these, um, these standards, it will send them to the following, to the, to the controller and router. Uh, let me show you then, it also instantiates um, stanzas. Uh, as I said, we're not exposing the XML data, so we are actually building um, post object because they're in post by, because they have the same name of the action. So here is how it, how it works. It says um, inside the post XML, if you got something called message and with a value, uh, with an attribute called from, assign it to a, value, uh, to a variable called from. If you got something, um, I mean, inside a message, take the two attribute and assign it to two, then take the subject node and assign it to a, uh, a, value, uh, a variable called subject, and then take the body and assign it to a variable called body. So for example, so in the end, our post objects will have a from, a to, a subject, and a body, which is all we need into the XML stanza. If, if the stanza is way much complex, we only get this for data, and that's very simple like this. Then you've got the controller which basically receives, as I said, the, the standard that I've shown earlier. So it's actually the most complex, the most complex part. Um, in the case of our, of our XMPP to webhook, uh, we actually, uh, the, it's like the common gateways, right? So, so for example, if I use the aim gateways, I will send a stanza to uh, your aim login at aim dot your server. And aim.yourserver is basically a component that translates the XMPP uh, naming into the aim naming. So in this case, basically, we send URLs to uh, 
you send sorry we send messages to a, to a JID that is basically an HTTP URL at the component the name of the component that we're using. So the first actually line is basically to decode the URL, to build the URL. So and then we send an HTTP request with the, the from from our stanza, the subjects from our stanza, and <laughs> the body from our stanza, right? And then the only thing that we do is we get the response from the from the HTTP request that we sent here, and we get the subject and the body to, to the, uh, and we, we, sorry, and we assign two variables, one called subject and one called body, that are extracted from the HTML, to actually send a reply to the guy who actually sent the HTTP message, and we'll see the view now to see how it looks like, and then in the view. which is basically an XML, I mean, we're just building XML here. So we are sending a message to the initial from, to the guy who actually sent us the message. Uh, and, and we are sending it from the two, so we are just reversing it. Then we're adding the subject, which is basically the title of the HTML page that was returned to by our HTML code. Sending the body, which was basically the HTML's body content. And then we're also giving the, the HTML, I mean, the XML, sorry, the HTML IM formatting, which is basically the same as this information, but in another format. And let me show you a little demo, if it works at least. All right, so maybe I should do the, later, the presentation later, the time for me to find the JIT and the password that I used for this one, because I don't remember it. So, uh, do you want to come to present your stuff? <coughs> So you can have back and forth with the web hooks. Yeah, basically, yeah. It's basically you're, you're changing XML stanza, uh, sorry, yeah, XMPP stanzas into HTTP posts, and the result of the page is sent back to the center of the stanza. And you can pretty much do this, yeah, both ways. Uh, ideally, I would love that from a, actually from a web server, you could translate it to a stanza, but I guess it's what they do with, with Strofe. So I'll show you the demo afterwards so that you understand better. If you create a Java, a Java server and you stroke and you just uh, have a client. Yeah, so this is <laughs> <laughs> And the good thing is that in this case I'm match I'm matching the the subject and, and body from a message standard, right? But in a case of our one application I'm working on, we're basically using PubSub syntax and sending um, the body of the PubSub, like um, the node, um, the title, the, sub, the summary, the date, the thing to a HTTP server that basically can handle it while you could not make probably handle the XMPP itself. 